Hi, it's me again, Jerry. We will now continue our discussion of two-dimensional array. On our screen, we have a simulation exercise. Let us proceed with our discussion. Declare x as a two-dimensional array integer variable. Its array size would be 5, and array partition within the array would also be set to 5. On our simulation board, let's label array indexes on its division and partitions within the division. Counting starts on 0. Integer variable z, row, and column are declared in the program. Assign 1 as initial value of z. Test the condition of the while loop. Z is less than 25 because the current value of Z is 1. Proceed to the block underneath while statement. Another looping statement is encountered, the for loop. Assign 5 to variable row and test the condition of the loop. Is row greater than or equal to 1? Yes. Proceed executing the block statement within the for loop. An if statement is encountered testing if row modulus of 2 is equal to 0. Current value of row is 5, therefore 5 modulus of 2 is 1, making the condition false. Execute the block statement under else. Another looping statement is met under else statement. Assign 0 to variable column. Proceed to on the looping condition. Is column less than or equal to 4? Yes. Assign the value of z to x rho minus 1 column. Rho minus 1 is 5 less 1 which is 4. Column is 0. Z is 1. Therefore, assign value 1 to x for 0 array allocation. Increment z making it 2. Look back and add 1 to column. The condition is set to true again since 1 is still less than 4. Assign now the current value of z to the current array index combinations of x. Repeat the process until column becomes 5. At the end of the for loop, the value we have for z is set to 6. Loop on the first for statement. Decrement the value of row. Rho at this point is already 4. 4 is still greater than 1. Evaluate once again the if, con if condition. True. Modulus of 4 over 2 is 0. Execute the for loop inside the if statement. Column is set to 4. Column greater than or equal to 0 is true. Execute the statements underneath. Assign the value of z, which is 6, to x, 3, 4. Increment z. Loop. Decrement the value of column. The loop continues to execute until column reaches the value of negative 1. At the end of the four loops, z is already 11. Loop once more on the first for statement. The two inner loops are alternately executed depending if rho is an even or odd number. Until we reach 0 for the value of rho, it will exit on its scope and loop back 
at while statement. Testing the condition on the while becomes false because the value of z is already 26. This will cause an exit on its own block. The next set of for loops are just to display the content of each cell of array X. The idea here is to move on the next line count of column which is 5. The out of the program is generated. Here is the code of the program. Let's save it and run. This is the output. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script, or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.